Within these 25 years, with the God's grace and blessing, uh, I have a very good health. All this within 30, 25 years, I never fallen sick. I have always enjoyed my good health because of walking. My longest walk in a day was 40 kilometers. I counted more than 60,000 kilometers I have walked. My name is Brother Prem Bhai. I belong to Benedictine and an oblate monk. I came across a missionary who started in the mission work for Arunachal Pradesh. And that missionary, through his life and dedication, I was very much attracted. He told the stories uh, of Arunachal evangelization, how the people are accepting faith and how the mm, people are really believing in Christ and the miracles are taking place. He said he has nobody to work along with him. He needs some volunteers. These people of Arunachal Pradesh, they are animists. They are not belong to any particular religion, either Muslim, neither Buddhist or Hindu, and neither Christian. But when they heard about our Christ, they were very much taken up. The people really experience. They experience Jesus through healing and through miracles. They find they are fulfilled and they really get uh, peace and uh, tranquility in their heart. And they say it's a, it's a, power, it's a work of the Holy Spirit. Peace, love, and joy, work of the Holy Spirit. So, 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 there are hundreds and hundreds of miracles have taken place. Once we are going uh, from one village to another village, one widow lady, she talked to us and she said, I, I am not a Christian, but I believe in Jesus Christ. And I heard when you all Christian people pray for the sick people and they become all right. Is it true? We said, yes, it's true. Then said, please pray for my daughter. She is paralyzed for more than one and a half years. And she's around 14, 15 years old, not able to walk, not able to do anything by herself. So along that with that lady, we went to her village. And with her faith, we prayed for her and she got up and started walking. It was a God's grace and blessing that I was chosen by God, Jesus Christ, uh, to work for Arunachal Pradesh, right peak at the time of persecution. Arunachal Pradesh is still it's a forbidden land for Christianity. We are not allowed to preach and baptize still now. But since we are Christian majority, so and many people are in the offices, the ministers and the politicians, because of them, the law of uh, anti conversion is subsided. But actually, it is still existing. <laughs> Twice it happened, I was very badly bitten by the people not to preach, not to baptize. Different, different places at the different times. Then also police people will be always behind me, all my observing all my activities. <laughs> One village I was preaching at night. It was a Monday Thursday, nineteen ninety-two. I was just preparing the people for the washing of the feet after reading the gospel. One police officer along with the uh, eight police people entered the house and he just stopped and showed a gun point he told me he stop your nonsense stop your nonsense. you are under arrest he said there is a complaint people have laws that you are coming and preaching and baptizing the people 
which you are not supposed to do. I said, sir, yes, I am not supposed to do, but the people are asking for it. I am not forcing them. No, nothing doing. You are arrested. So I was handcuffed and I was arrested. Then I was taken to the police station. After one hour or so, we heard many people are coming surrounding the police station and so many people could hear hear the noise of the people uh, release prem bhai release prem bhai jai jisu praise the lord praise with jesus christ then after two hours i was released bhagwan do pa bhagwan do pa bhagwan do pa papa ke jai jisu jai jisu i was preaching the gospel around the villages and the district collector of uh, that um, seppa district got the news that one missionary going about to preaching and baptizing i was arrested then i was being taken to the police custody the police officer and he was surprised that i am speaking his language he told the police people release him don't catch him i will not take you to the jail i'll take you to my house today you will preach and teach me and my family and he will baptize us i couldn't believe his words i said yes sir are you joking or serious about it he said no i am also i also wanted to become a christian but i couldn't find any mission now the god has sent you so you be as in my house as a guest you will teach and preach me and my family and you will baptize us so then it happened so that evening we spent a night and the whole family was baptized hey jesus hallelujah jesus hallelujah jesus praise the lord praise the lord kabali ke liye अरुणाचल प्रदेश वी ऑलवेज पुट ऑन दिशनल ड्रेस एंड वी ऑल्सो द लैंग्वेज we learn the language and we speak to the language in their uh, with them and they are very happy so we especially we catholic missionaries we don't destroy the culture here is a place he is a church leader and he, it's a very good strong catholic family and they lead the church we have around 25 catholic families in this village and he is a church leader abo These are the traditional ornaments. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a very, yeah. They they make these traditional ornaments, and they it's very costly. It is very costly. Yeah, people buy it. Difficult to get. Only this is the last man who could make this kind of ornaments, and he taught his son, and now his son is following up that uh, traditional making ornaments. These are the yeah. When we walk through the forest, especially, we come across wild animals also. Twice, I was badly attacked by the elephant. The elephant chased me nearly half a kilometer and tried to catch me with the trunk. But I saw the elephant coming. I just made sign of the cross and prayed. I fell on myself. Within a second, the elephant came over to kill me, and he tried to stamp my head. Stab my head, but I just lifted my head like this one side, and uh, elephant was not not able to crush my head. Then after the elephant kicked me so bad, but the kick did not touch me because I was having the holy communion on this side, in the back. Nearly for fifty minutes I was under the elephant. Then fortunately one truck, one lorry truck came. and with the noise of the truck elephant crossed me when inside the forest that elephant has been killing so many people on this road but try to look